Okay. Hello. It is Monday, September 3rd. Oh, wait. You guys want to see me. There we go. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to see me. Excuse me. Um, there's my lunch. Uh, anyway, that's gross. Uh, so, it is Monday, September 3rd. It is September, which I'm really excited about. I'm Tracy Winesapple. Hi, Cindy. Hi, everybody. Uh, and let's see. Some of you have got your journals in hand. They should all be gessoed. I know mine was gessoed over a week ago. I was so excited. Hi, Donna. I love that it says it's Donna. Hi, Donna. Okay. So, ooh, this is fresh smell of gesso. No, I just gessoed mine five minutes ago. Not even five minutes ago. It's still drying. So, a couple of things I want to talk about before we get started. If you have your journal, great. If you don't, it's still great. I'm okay with that. Um, if you ordered your journal, there's a small one in there. This is my small one. Oh, I keep forgetting what camera I'm on. See, I keep doing this. You guys are not seeing what I'm saying. Here's the raw journal. Here's my gesso journal. So you want a gesso. Here's the small journal, okay? Oh, Jean just got her gesso, so she's ready to get her gesso on. So here's my small journal. And September's about gratitude. Mine says gratitude is an action word. Boom, bada, bing. Super easy pages, nothing to it. I'm going to share every single one of these pages. I haven't done this one yet. Mm -hmm. Look at my book. I'm so ahead of the challenge. I am funny. So uh, this one is awesome. So please... If you don't buy the journal, I have no issue with that, but please follow, you know, go ahead and get a journal and do that. Um, where can you get the journals? Andy? <laughs> Andy. Oh, uh, I handmade, hand sewed, not hand sewed, I didn't do this. I, on a sewing machine, made all the journals. So if you go to my, Andy will get the link for you. Andy is uh, my uh, cohort here and does all my moderating, so she helps me out. The small journal is all about gratitude, and it's super, super simple. And if you guys, I thought I'm going to make one of mine a gift because I'm making two of them. I'm going to do the one that I've done I'm going to share, and I'm going to put it on my website, and I'm going to try and do as many pages as I can in September, and then I'm going to do another one. So if you want to order them, these journals are still available. I can still send them. We're recording the show. You're not going to be behind. And this is all month of September. And every time you do a page, upload that page to uh, the September challenge, which Andy will put up. So every time you, oh, my God, you know what I haven't done? Guys, I have to print something up before I'm done. We have to draw our winner for September. I stink. Hold on. I got to do something. Uh, August. Okay, there we go. Sorry, guys. I stink. Um, no, here it is. Okay. Here it is. I did not print out, which I meant to. Sorry. There we go. I'm printing out everybody who did August. And um, we're going to pick a winner. Pick a winner. So I'll do that. I'll cut that up. I'll have my daughter come in here when she's not doing anything. Mickey, when this prints up, will you cut the little faces out with the names underneath it so I can draw a prize tonight and put them in a container? Yeah. Okay, it's printing. Okay. Uh, so, okay. Yes, here you go. Can you go out there and do it? Okay, for August. I'll draw the winner at the end of the show. Oh, uh, is that the coolest thing in the world? We've been having so much fun with that. Um, okay, so I'm trying to catch up. What? There's a container outside my office. Yes. This is, all of the journals are um, made out of canvas, and they're artist-grade canvas. So the reason I could not prime them and get primed canvas is you can't really stick prime canvas through a sewing machine. You can, but it jams up and breaks your sewing machine. Did you want the Gratitude Journal blog page up on the September Dare? Yes. Uh, the Gratitude Journal pages are uploaded to the September Dare. 
which you can enter every single one of your pages. So the more pages you you do, for example, there's an entry, there's an entry, there's an entry. This would be an entry. Get it? Cool. Okay. And you know me, I pick out prizes. I never know what they are, but I do have some. Yeah, it's okay. It's just at the end. Okay. So here you go. So just cut these out, these out, these out, and put them in a container for me. Okay. Thank you. Wait a minute. There's one page ahead of me. It's ahead of me. There they are. Don't forget them. they got to be all. Okay, all right. go. You're good. Thank you. And then bring them to me. Okay, so any other questions? Do you want me to do, 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 do? Yeah, lots of chances. And I want to see all your pages. And I'm going to upload every single one of mine and share how I made them. Because I've actually been taking pictures in the process. I know I have a great assistant. I have several great assistants in my life. Okay, so let's regroup and start painting. Done, done. An update on Maureen. She's not feeling great. She emailed me, is not going to be able to join us tonight. Told her it would be re uh, recorded. We are praying for her. Um, she appreciates it. She can feel it. And is just still not feeling good and has to get to the bottom of it via doctors. Good. So, Maureen, we're thinking about you, and this Monday night is for you, so let's have fun. And she decided she can't really kind of be active and play along because um, it's just too hard when she's not feeling good and doesn't like her page. I can understand that. When you don't feel good, it's hard to feel that little oops. Uh, I am recording. Good reminder. Thank you. My card. Okay. Okay, good. I will, Terry. Thank you. Uh, Maureen, or... Um, Andy can type about that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this in between my pages. This is one of those things from the dentist's office that they, I'm sure, love that my friend gets them. Um, I am recording. Thank you for asking. Okay, I said it twice now. Okay, here we go. Oh, I'm not, I'm on the wrong camera. I'm going to do that. I'm going to pick the winner at the end, Sarah. My daughter's cutting them up. Thank you, Yvonne, who I almost said. Okay. Hi, Beck. Okay. Thank you. Uh, don't worry, uh, Sarah. It will be um, posted. Okay? Thank you. It will be posted. I'll make sure. I'll make sure you know. Okay? Okay. Here we go. Oh, the page we're doing. So we're starting these canvas journals. And here is my completed one, which I love. Oh, I love that mine is completed, but I hate to recopy and redo art I've already done because I do. So I know it's horrible when you're a teacher. The idea is to teach what you've done, and I kind of hate to repeat everything exactly. So I might change up a few things, like my color. I might change up my colors. There we go. Okay, I just grabbed some flowers. I would really prefer not to repeat my color scheme, but I will if we want to. But, like, I love this flower. So anyway, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Oh, lots of people tuning in. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, no, you do not have to do anything I do. I bought the flower. This, these came, these were inexpensive at Michael's. I plucked them off the stem. I sometimes use the middles. I sometimes do not. I, I a lot of times draw my flower. On this one, I prefer to paint my flower. Uh, but this time, I'm going to just draw. I mean, I'm just going to use what I have. And I don't know what colors I really want to do this time. I don't think I really want to repeat my colors. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Nobody knows what my... I always say this when I'm teaching because a lot of people... Uh, nobody knows what my book looks like. So the great thing is you get to do whatever you want on it. And nobody will know the difference. So I really do feel like picking out some different colors. But I have to make sure, 
I really do feel like picking out some different colors. I think I'm going to go with this margarita in the background. I'm going to go green with this pink. Okay, guys, I know you guys are going to be mad at me. <laughs> I got several. This color is margarita, and I used a yellow. I probably should just do the same. Um, I used two, shin two shins, two shades of um, mists, but you can also use paints. You know, we're just going to be a little different, okay? Yeah. I'm going to use the green and the pink this time, okay? We're, we're, I will tell you what I did on this one, and it was a yellow background. I'm choosing to make this one look a little different, but I would all like you to pick out the color. I would like you guys to pick out the colors that you want to use. I'm looking for my spray bottle now. That's not a spray bottle. Okay. Here we go. Mine on everything I do never looks the same. Even so, what I'm going to do is mist this down a little bit. This is just water, and I'm going to paint this color, which is margarita. And I'm going to get my palette paper, which only cost me a dollar at Joann's, and it will save me a little bit of cleanup. Oh, I could have put that right on there. <laughs> Here we go. Gonna wet that down too. Okay, this kind of looks like a, I'm not really liking this color. It's not really green. It's more of like urine green. <laughs> it's not looking, okay, hold on. Let's try citron green. We'll just go a little darker. Let's go a little greener. There we go. Just going over the top of it. Is anybody painting with me? I mean, not literally in the same room as me. Using my palette pad. I have hardly any more of that green. I gotta go get another bottle of it. And I'm gonna, um, God, I need to throw away half these foam brushes. It's like the plastic is scraping and making a heinous noise. I have lots of this color because I use it a lot, so. Could have put this on with a baby wipe, too. You know, my normal. Hey, Beck, happy Father's Day, even though you're not a father in Australia yesterday, I believe. I think I'm on that. Yes. There you go. I'm watching. Oh, you are. How do you get it on there? Do you, do you have did you to, um, did you find me? You were tuning yeah. in. My daughter's tuning in the other room. That's... How do you face? Do, wait, how do you do that? Oh, how do you chat? Oh, I don't know. I have to make you a little free account next time. I will. Okay. But I can't do it right now. Here. But thank you for thank you for your tuning in. <laughs> thank you for. Um, Mickey, can you go down in that paint box and see if you can find me another color? This color, citron green, or. Okay, but let me have that one back. I think I have another color. <laughs> I'm going to get every last drop out of that. Okay. Okay. Now watch me not like that. Oh, well, I kind of like it now, so don't worry about it. I'm sure none of you are worried about it, but I am worried about it. Because we're going to go over it with something. And did you guys pull out a template? Do, do I have another color? Well, this is the closest to it. No, I don't have so that don't have this green? No. Oh, fabulous. Are you sure? Did you look through the whole thing? Yeah. Oh, well, I guess we better blend in. I'm sorry. I better blend in some of this color because now I just realized I painted it. All right. I swear I have some more outside, but you can't get to it. You'll do what's full. I'm sure that's what everybody does with their acrylic paints. Okay. Well, the back cover will be a slightly different color. Well, you opened another door. Oh, did I? Okay, that's all right. Okay. You're cool. Thank you for your help. Okay. Done. Heat gun. Warning. Tracy, how did you get the money from... 
What? 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 Tracy? Tracy, you did get the money for me. Write out account. Oh, I was no really in pep voice. I don't think I understand. I rest assured I did not take the money. <laughs> Did your account get broken into? Hi, Cam. Hi, Susie. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Linda Lee. Hi, Nicole. Hi, Red Rob. That must be Red Robin. Uh, hi, Doris. No. You can't, Bruce. You have to set up an account. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh. You know what, Terry? That's a great question. I don't know the answer. Oh, I'm sorry. Um. I'll have to look. If you don't mind dropping me an email. That would be great. I believe I probably did because I don't think it lets me ship. Unless, oh, I'm sorry about that. That's happened to me before and it blows. Okay. So if anybody is just tuning in, we are creating this. Yeah, it's a total pain. My purse was stolen. But I'm doing mine in slightly different colors and I may use a pink flower instead of a white one. But if all else fails, I have a white one here too. So you know me, it just never, and everybody pre gesso their raw canvas if they bought the journals. And I'm painting the cover and the back cover because they're kind of one and the same. So that's what I'm doing. But of course I've run out of the color that I'm trying to use. So we're just, I'm extending the life of this as much as I can. And I have to go to a different color, so I might as well blend them. There we go. <laughs> I'm using citrone green, and now I'm using like yellow. And I'm kind of just misting it as, as I go along. Kind of blending it all together. I don't even care if it's a little different. It, it, it looks the same. So sometimes what I do to protect the inside covers is I'll put a piece of paper or these are those little things that I got from my friend who's in the medical field, which are, they're awesome. One side is absorbent and the other one is kind of repels it. So I just kind of do that. Then I protect the inside pages, but I don't care if stuff bleeds into the other pages. That's what gesso's for. So I really don't care. I guess I better keep this. Oh, there we go. I'm getting quite a few a bit of it out. I water down my acrylics, so. All right. I guess I better keep that bottle so I buy another color of it. So how many of you got your journals and were like, I'm just going to start now. <laughs> I know whenever I get something that's like raw and ready to be worked on, I'm like, okay, you ready? You want to play with it? Yeah, you guys, if you use, I love deco art. They actually sponsor a lot of my classes. Tell them I sent you over. I just, they're really great to work with and they make freaking awesome paints that you can go buy. So always like to thank them when I can. Kind of getting paint all over me. Kind of not liking that. I feel like, okay, I'm just going to blend this in a little bit. Oh, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm going to wipe it off a little bit. Oh, I swear I love baby wipes. Not when I had them, <laughs> not when I used them for babies. The opposite intended use? No. Didn't like using them for that. Okay. I just like that. Okay. 
Nice, nice, done. So I do promise you I will pick an August, a winner from our August challenge. The pages that you guys did, remember exactly a month ago or thereabouts when I said, we're going to make August all about you. And I did that. Doesn't it seem weird? It was a month ago. And I said, let's do a challenge about you. Every single person grumbled. And we had the most entries that we've had since I started doing these challenges. Like once you guys got on board and embraced it, it was a done deal. So I just want to tell you how great August was. I, I really, really enjoyed August. And the fact of the matter is, I think you guys did too because the response was so awesome. Every page was different. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Okay, why did I take this one? It should not be there. Okay. Put that one back in there. All right. I'm just protecting my other pages, but I'm kind of making a anal case out of it. Okay. So now our book, if we were to open it, kind of is like one. That'll come into play later. Okay. I'm not really concerned about it now. Now we need to do our background stamp. I mean, misting. You don't have to mist either. I'm going to do mine. My background is going to be probably butterflies because I like them. Let me take a peek here. I also like, I like a lot of things, but you do not have to use butterflies if you don't like them, just so we're clear. So. This is, I have two butterflies that are like melted together here. I don't know what, and you don't have to use mists. If you don't, sometimes you can make your own, just so you know. Somebody said to me today, I know how to make my own. I thought that was cool. I don't have the know-how. Can't tell you how to do it. Um, I'm really using this too, just for the swirls, because I really, really like the swirls. And now I'm realizing, okay, there we go. There we go. Hold on. <laughs> the swirls are also grabbing my other template. Okay. There you go. Um, you can also use paint. So I think last week or a couple weeks ago, these things, these cosmetic brushes, you put the paint on and boop, 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 and dab. Works awesome. Yeah, and you can make, um, good point, you can make mists out of gelatos. Excellent point. In my case, I am just going to use what I have on hand, and I'm going to grab some mists. I have, I have, I have lots of different brands. I'm not privy to one, but I also have lots of different colors, and it's not easy to find. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to use this. And the best thing to do is protect your work surface because I have a tendency to paint and mist everything around me, including my sewing machine. And it's really kind of when you go to use your sewing machine and you get mists on you, kind of annoying. Yes. All right. Yeah, I like this dental too. I like it because I like the swirly to use. And I don't know what the color of my mists are going to be ultimately. I'm going to use probably two or three colors here. Maybe two. Here we go. All right. So this is green. This is called olive vine. You can use stamp pads too on these, you know. All right. Ready? Pretty? Here we go. All right. I'm, I don't think, I don't know if this, this one's pink, and I don't know if I'm going to use that yet. I don't know how well that would show up. This one's dragonfly. It's like a teal color. Oh, that works. Okay, good. So I don't really want to hit this too hard. I'm, as I hit it hard. <laughs> okay. 
So here we go. Ready? Ready? Ooh, done. Okay, I can hear myself in the other room because my daughter's watching and oh my god. Mickey, turn me down. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So did you get that process? Ah, here we go. Got a little thick. Okay, and then this dries pretty quick. I really have noticed that the color scheme is really the same. <laughs> I really didn't change it up. Okay, so I will throw a heat gun on this just in case because. Isn't this so easy? This is our. Um, So this journal is just going to be so fun when it's done. Somebody said to me it's kind of like a, what do you call it? My, I already have one done, but some, <laughs> this one will be fun too, I hope. Somebody said to me that this is a nice little end table book to kind of put out and show off your art. So make sure you sign the back of it, okay? I want people to know you did this. Okay, so that's the back page. You ready? I mean, that's the front page. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. So this is what we want to do. This is the back page. Now what I want to do, just to give you an idea, and let's be visual here. See how I, I want to carry over my teal on the top and my green on the bottom. See what I'm saying? So I'm going to kind of mist along that same lines. Here we go. And I'm going to turn my template around a little bit and have, okay. Oops, I should wipe off the residue because now I've just turned my, okay, no problem. So here we go. Now remember, you can paint it. You don't have to, I'm trying to see which way I want my template to go because I want my birdie, my birdies. Butterflies to be visible. I just did a complete 360 with that. Like I put it back to the way I originally had it. Sweet. Okay, ready? Missed, missed, missed. Missed, missed, missed. I, I love this butterfly. I know we have some non butterfly likers in the group, Susie, just to mention her name. And um, I'm not offended by that at all because there are certain things I do not like. So I respect that. Okay. Here we go. Oops, that's green. I want to do, duh, I'll do the green first. Just kind of protecting my surface because I have a tendency to make a little mess with these mists. <laughs> Not that it matters. Okay, you ready? Green, green, green along the bottom. Green, 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 green. And teal, teal, teal along the top. I think I missed right here. Missed. Okay. Ready? Ready? Ready for the big reveal? <gasps> uh, kind of like it. Okay. Going to get rid of my template, which needs to be rinsed off. I think we're kind of done with the spraying for right now. Okay. There we go. Kind of, you guys, I'm already excited. I've already designed my next canvas journal. I got so excited, and it's really cool. I have been playing with the sewing machine. Teaching myself to sew. Okay. What is 409? Um, that is a cleaning solution. I have to just open up my access. So now the idea is when I spread this book open, <laughs> um, it's going to look like it's one big flat page. Okay. So are you ready for the big reveal? If I didn't screw it up, we should be dead on. Ready? 
kind of, yeah. Cool. Yep, it does. See? Kind of goes right into that. Nice. Done. Okay. Really happy about that. Duh! <laughs> that is my back. So really my back page is done. I'm going to ink it up a little bit. Now, I love these because we're really protecting the inside pages. Oh, that's wet paint right there. Okay, now I have a couple of ink pads, and I do happen to have the colors that match. It's kind of nifty because I can go around and kind of ink a dink a do my, you know, pages. Oh, I grabbed two of the same color. That was ditzy. There we go. I get so relaxed when I'm kind of hanging out with you guys. I wish you were all like here with me, but then I'd be spazzy. Okay. So what's cool about this ink pad, the stitching along the bottom, which, you know, I did that for a reason. Um, I love it if you kind of like bring that out. So I'm just, you know, oops. I don't want me to do that. If you get ink where you don't want it, you could just wipe it off until it dries. So you see how I'm creating that. And I'm, whoops, bringing out the stitches. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. See how easy this is? And it is so cat and pick and fun to just play. Now, of course, you're all going to scream at me and say, Yes, yeah, the white flower! Can't use the green flower, it blends in too much. I could use the orange flower. Or I can use the pink flower. Pink! Thank you, Nicole! I was going to try spraying this a little bit behind, but I didn't. But that's okay. So what I do with these things now... Dunk -a -dunk -a -dunk. I cut the... I cut the... Ow! That would be cut my finger. Okay, cut that. No, no, no. Okay. So this really, this flower, I kind of, you know, disregard all this stuff. Ready? I cut that down and get rid of the stem. Get rid of everything. Now, your flower is made of many layers. Isn't that nifty? And I just glue that on. Okay, which I'm going to do. And I'm going to wait until I... So there you go. I throw all the other stuff away. I wouldn't want the flower like sticking off the page like by three inches. Okay. There we go. So. Next, what I do is this was... Oh, I'm going to paint the word art along the bottom. And I have a couple of suggestions. I have these inexpensive... I bought these a long time ago, and I love them. I use them all the time. So I'm just going to take black paint. Sometimes I gesso underneath them if I'm going to do a color. Black is pretty uh, opaque, so I don't need to worry about anything coming through. And, of course, I'm running out of black. Okay, here we go. So... Hope you guys can see this. Look at what is the deal tonight? It is like run out of paint day for me. Lamp. Okay, this is the same stuff. Okay. I don't know if these stamps are still available. I happen to use the set a lot. It just kind of covers my um, lettering needs. I I kept all my foam stamps kind of back from scrapbooking. I held on to all of them. And I love them, and you kind of um, put a lot of ink on them. 
And you can put make the title of your journal whatever you would like. Just make sure your letters go in the right direction if you're using these. Oh, hold on, I need more paint. So like I said, sometimes I'll do it two letters, a gesso underneath. It's kind of cool to see the white popping through. But uh, I'm not going to do that because this black is so opaque. Black is very dark. And I'm not looking up, of course. So if there's any questions that I'm missing, I'm sure Andy is making diligent notes because she, she always does. Okay. So just super easy to line these up. Okay, you ready? Ready, ready? Bingo. Just sticking those in water. Bingo. Bingo. Okay. Done. Going to outline them. Yeah, they're making... Oh, oh, good. You still can get them. They are making memory stamps. I didn't know. They're, I don't know if they're still even in business, but I know that you could probably get them on, like, Amazon or something. But aren't they cool? They're just so... Um, I don't know. They just make things go quick. I'm going to throw this away because I'm not sure if I have any more painting to do and I really do not want to stick anything in it. This palette paper, I got this for a buck. I'm going back to Joanne's and I keep forgetting. It's a buck. It doesn't, you're, it's a basically a palette and a pad and I love the size of this one. So if you don't have these, I bought several different pads. I think I shared last week. I decided to start painting my own cards and this is what I bought this week so when I'm sitting there doodling and playing around I'm going to be making cards so instead of having what I my doodles turn into nothing I doodle a ton will do okay done I almost want to mist around I don't know what's going to happen if I were to mist okay this mist doesn't work kind of hoping to do a light little I don't think it'll work though the way I'm thinking it's going to work a little halo around my flower but I don't think it's going to turn out that way okay did you order the journal oh yeah Terry you're getting yours okay so then simple 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 this cover was all about being simple I'm going to paint this on you can use a couple of different things Oops, I'm looking for black. Okay, I'm going to use, I don't even remember what I, I might have used black paint there, but I'm going to use, um, this is Dr. P, oh, dog is making a weird breathing noise. This is India ink. Penny, 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 okay. <laughs> Sorry, my dog was making a weird breathing noise. <laughs> so, I want to make sure these are dry first. I don't want to... Some of the lettering was a little thick painting-wise. Okay, done. Because I want to outline those. Um, and, yeah, somebody just said I want to use painter's tape for um, stencils. That's an awesome idea. Yeah, that is another, um, I will share with you this. I have done this before. Uh, I will share this. This is duct tape, but painter's tape works better, and I have that as well. And I have this thick stuff, so I'm going to give you a little. So what I do, you can actually cut the letters out on the Internet, for example. Painter's tape. Imagine this is painter's tape. I have the thick stuff, but it's in the garage because I was actually using it as real painter's tape. Um, 
you can cut your letters out on the internet too. So if you pick a big font like this. Now, if you had painter's tape and it was thick, this example would go a lot quicker. But you can go ahead and write your, um, hold on, do I have a pen? You'd be able to see it. Let's say you do this. Oops. I swear my dog is making really weird noises. And you could pull all this up. It's usually two or three pieces of tape. It's not five pieces of little tape. Okay, good. So you don't need to buy, you know, I'm trying to encourage, use what you have, but every time I'm out there enabling myself, <laughs> So this would be a perfectly good stencil. Get it, get it, get it. Yeah. I don't know too, you guys remember, uh, do you remember the old chipboard letters? The negatives of them? I have a lot of those too, you can use those as well. So that's another idea, because you can stick, um, you actually can, what I usually do is cut the box out, so you use just the negative of it. I don't cut the letter itself now that I think about it. So use the negative of it. Okay. I love these. I love that set because it happens to just be gigantor. Okay, so now I'm going to use this. This is Indian ink. You can use, it's got to be, whatever you use, it has to be very opaque to kind of go over our, and I'm going to get a fine, I have a very fine, no, that's not it. I have a very fine, um, this is a really, really fine paintbrush. Invest in a really good fine paintbrush and a really thick paintbrush. I bought some really good ones, some real big gloppy ones that nobody's allowed to use now. So those are my recommendations. Okay, and I'm using... India ink. Oops. Okay. And I'm just going to dig right in. I might even have to go thicker on my brush. Oops. Okay. Kind of gauge where I'm going to put this darn thing. Okay. I'm going to go bigger. What I love about India ink, it's just so, you don't have to just use Indian ink with a nib, you can use it with a paintbrush. And it is permanent and stays there. Okay, done. Good deal. Okay. I do wipe those off right away. I always wipe those brushes off right away because they're so little. If you don't and you leave them at the bottom of your paint, they get smushed and they just leave it upright. My. Oh, you know what? Somebody. Oh, shoot. Hey, Mickey, will you do me a favor? Mickey, will you go grab me that paintbrush cleaner that I have? 
Yeah, thank you. I want to show you. Somebody asked me about cleaning my brushes. I'm really diligent about cleaning my brushes. And so I'm going to. Okay. So I'm not looking up, but I will be soon because I'm nearly done with this. So I want to show you guys. I'm just going to. Now what you need to. Thanks. I will remind me to show you guys my paint cleaner. So now I take this flower and I'm putting it upside down and I'm going to glue this layer by layer. Just a clear, quick drying glue will do ya. And you just want to make sure. Uh oh, there we go. have like 82 layers of flowers here. Okay. Okay. I'm going to lay every glue every layer down. Again, these these flowers came from Michaels. Super super inexpensive. I think they were Oh, let's get lights on. I guess I have no lights now. Okay. There we go. Sometimes I put a button in the middle, but I really like the center of these flowers. There we go. All dry. Okay. And now I'm going to make sure pull this all out. Really like Sometimes I take a charcoal pen. I think we're done. I mean, I am so kind of, it looks like my, oh, I was going to do one more thing. I have an acrylic. This is an acrylic. I love these. Dollar Rowney, Daler Rowney, I think. Oh, my problem is getting my legs off. Okay, hold on. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Same brush, or you could use a uh, if you can if you have a fine tip paintbrush, it's great. Or you can do a um, what do you call it? Well, I think I might actually use the sorry, change that up. I'm going to use this. It's a little thick, otherwise just a nib. Okay. And I'm just going around the perimeter of it. Well, maybe I will have to go. Oh man, I want to do my whole book tonight. I think I'm going to work on my gratitude book tonight. Today was a no work day. Today is a no work day, a labor free day for me. I hope you guys had a labor free day, but sometimes I know you don't. I could have actually gone to work if I wanted. Just adding a little bit of character to my letters. Oh my goodness. This page was fast and easy. I cannot wait to see what everybody does with their book. Like I can't, I wanna wait, I can't wait to see them finish. Like I hope by the end of September, we really are done. And I'm going to kind of, every week it's going to be planned out. So if you want the journal, great. If you don't, it's going to, I, you know, grab a, grab your own book. I will try every week. 
I'm trying to do it early. I did it last week early. Sort of did. I posted it by Friday. So if you need to pick up supplies, most of the time you will not need supplies. If I will try to always come up with alternatives so that you don't feel compelled to have to go buy something. Okay? All right. So I think we're done. I mean, my page is so much, I guess I like my page so much from the first time that the only thing I did was change the color. Oh, the only other thing I'm going to do, which I encourage you to do the same, I'm not going to do it yet until the paint's dry, I stamp or sign the back of all of my work. I know I'm getting better about signing the front, um, but I sign the back of all of my work. Now, what's great about the mists is this is sparkling, too. Okay. Get it, get it, get her and go. We're done. I can't believe I recreated a page. I never do that. And I probably will add a little bit of, you know, I don't know. Whoops. Let me not add it to the other pages. I don't want to go too dark. Blend it in. Okay, I'm, I'm done. Stop messing it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Oh, Laura, you did? Oh, my God, good. So you'll be able to post. I really, um, you know what? I wonder, you know what I think I'm going to do, guys? I think I'm going to, okay. Andy, remind me what I said I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going, okay, I'm going to switch. I know this was simple. I'm going to switch and sit down for a second. I think what I'm going to do, because I love to see everybody's pages in the same kind of location. Oh, hold on. I'm trying to get my chair. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is do that, that same link thing. It was easy, Doris. I think I'm going to do, not make a new folder. I think what I might do is do a link thing, which is easy, a folder and Flickr, or is it easy if I do... Um, make a new uh, post on my blog and everybody upload it straight to my blog. So that way we could, could relink, relink. Oh, yes. Keep a, keep a, uh, this is my suggestion for paintbrushes and your hands. This, I believe your hands, now that I just said that. This is sold at Michael's, but they sell it. Okay, keep brushes like new. I think I use it for my hands. Okay, upload straight to blog. Andy, will you do me a favor? And, and what I'm going to do is I will do, a, so this way we would be able to kind of see the, the pages as they go up. Yeah, I like the linky too, and it's all on one website. So what I will do is put up a blog post. Um... Yeah, if the if you load it to Flickr, you can load it on right onto the thing. I also noticed that in the linky thing, you can also link direct an image. So I was doing that for somebody. No, we're gonna put it to my on my blog, just like we do the September the, the challenges. So Andy, will you just write me a note to um, Andy sends me notes at the end of this thing. Well, uh, send me a note to add a link thing. And a blog post, so I'll try. I'm gonna do that. I'll try and do that by tomorrow, so that. But if you want to, you know, uh, share your pages, but just remind me to set that up because I have to set it up. So this is called the Masters Brush Cleaner and Pre Server, and I leave this by my sink, and it's like a little thing of. And I think you can want. They make the, uh, a bar of soap like it, so you can use it. Yeah, so if you guys don't mind, I think we're going to do that because I would love to see the pages as we are go um, and see, you know, this this is very simple. So as we move on, I'm not going I'm not going to do some of the pages will be from this book. Some of them are going to be from my own personal journal, but I'm going to pick, I know Susie, don't worry, we probably won't do the butterfly page. Um so 
some of them are going to be definitely from here, though. Yeah, always lay your brushes down to dry. People put them upright, but it's not a good idea because it feeds back into the barrel. So anyway, we are already done with the front and back cover. So this, my idea behind this was, and it starts, my, my book is not hard. It's very flimsy. So keep in mind, the more you gesso your pages, the stiffer it gets and the more layers we add to it. But I really like the pink on this. And by the end of the month, how many Mondays are in September? Five, four, probably four. So we may be dedicating, um, may double up on pages too. It's seven o'clock. We finished right on time. I usually finish by 7.30. How do you remove gesso? Uh, I usually just rub it off my hands and nails. It just peels. It comes right off usually. Oh, I also have a thing in my bathroom in my shower. I got it at the Del Mar Fair and the fair. No, on a canvas. Um, how do you remove gesso on a canvas? Is it, it, It's probably absorbed in because canvas is porous. <laughs> Kim. So I think your best bet is to paint over gesso. So if you got it on top of something, you don't want it. I don't know how you'd remove it. I put it on canvas and I wanted to reuse it. The canvas? Yes, you could probably gesso the whole thing. Put it in the washer. Uh, okay. Yes. I paint. Yeah, you can paint gesso. Use black, black gesso too. Oh, it's cracking. Send me an email about it, Terry, and I might be able to, because um, I'm only getting bits and pieces. I'm trying to follow along between everybody. But yeah, thank you. Uh, I try to follow along. And I love every time somebody types Ramona, I live in Ramona. So I'm like, what are they talking about? Hey, is Regina Falange here? Hi, Paper Fusion, which I, <laughs> I'm like, stop saying Ramona. I live in Ramona. Oh, my God. So I think we covered everything. My friend Ramona. Um, I think we covered everything. Oh, Regina, I'm going to have to send her an email. Any questions? Because I really got going into what we were doing. So there is a ton. I realize, oh, hold on, my daughter didn't put these in a thing. I realize that there are tons of questions. Hold on, I gotta make sure she didn't put mine in there. Yes, she did. Okay. Okay. What? Yeah, hold on. Let me make sure they're all in here. Count. Okay. Oh, yeah, we can take me out. I'm not eligible to win. Okay, so we're going to do the drawing for – did you put the – and the names are on the bottom, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think – were these all of them? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, dokie okay, pokies. I don't know what the prize is yet, but there's a prize. There's always a prize. Okay. Oh, here. Why don't we do this? <laughs> okay, ready? My daughter is picking up. Wait, wait, wait. You got to get in. There we go. Sorry. Pick one. Oh. Mommy, here. Oh. oh, okay. I'll hold it up. Three, two. Tanya Venus. P A O. Tanya. I'm going to hold my page because Annie Lou did not see it. I don't know if Tanya's here tonight. Okay, thank you.
Okay. Here's her page. <gasps> Open up the book. There's nothing in this book yet. Would you like to see the other book? <gasps> oh, yeah, of course you can see the small book. Um, do you want to see the small book, too? Okay. Here, congrats to Tanya. I don't know if she's here, but if not, I'll send her a little email. I got to keep that. Okay, this was my book. Do, 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 do. Be true to you. I have a thing for flowers, I think. This whole book is about flowers. But we're going to add something. Oh, my God. You guys with the birds, I'm loving the birds, too. Okay, so this is my gratitude book. And this is the 5x5 five five book that comes with it. And there's a canvas tag. I use the canvas tag as a card holder. Don't be afraid to take my card out of there and use it for whatever you want to do it. Um, so here we go. This is, yeah, this was so easy. And I took a picture of all of these pages in process. So I'm going to show those on my website. And it says gratitude is an action word. Um, this book says sometimes, uh, this is all about gratitude. So I'm just writing things that I'm grateful for. This one says sometimes it's just the smallest things that make you smile. This one says heart, art helps me breathe. My life is art. Uh, this is my arts. Yes. What is going on? Oh. Okay. Now she let the dog in. Ooh, ooh, look at that dog in the window. Okay. Uh, this one says thankful for my friends. All three of them. <laughs> and those are button flowers. So I just lined up buttons. Um, this one says living in the moment. And I don't know what I'm thankful for on this page yet. How much is that dog in the window? Thank you, Yvonne. And this one says moments like this, passion, imagine, create. I was playing around with book text. And this page is the day it snowed. No, I have this to finish and I'm done. But you see how I carried the, the front and back cover are the same thing. Good night, Susie. Yes. Yes, please do that because I've already gotten a few and I want to get that done. Um, so I, we're done for the night. Happy Labor Day to everybody. I am going to work on getting up that blog post for us to all share our journal pages as we go along. Remember, yours can look like mine. It can look different from mine. Um, I can't wait, wait to see. I've really enjoyed seeing the bird pages. Thanks, Paula. I've really enjoyed seeing the bird pages. I mean, seriously, what a fun week that was. And I think that's it. We're done. I do love the birds. I'm sharing more. Uh, I've actually gotten a little bit of help on this, but I'm going to be sharing more of your pages in a more regular fashion. More to come on that. <laughs> Lori, my bird was grumpy. Thank you, Jean. Got one from my parents who cannot be here tonight. They went to a barbecue for Labor Day. They just all of a sudden have this big social life. But they said they were sorry they had to miss. Okay, I'm going to tune out. Thank you for posting that. And I welcome, oh, next Monday we're back on. I'm going to post the supply list. And I'm going to plan this so that this journal is conceivably done in September. And the other thing about that is, you know, I might have to give you homework. Um, the other thing about that is basically in September, you guys might be finishing two journals if, you know, all else. And these pages should be taking you a half an hour to an hour. These, Thank you. These are not um, two hour pages. Okay. I'm over and out. I'm going to turn off the recording first so I can just hang tight and answer any questions. Thanks so much. I'll see you next Monday. Same channel, same place, same time.